Don't take all day everything! Because he, he was caught in a lie. The first thing he did after Brexit, resign. Get out of there. Why? Because he was... Resigned he never, from what? He resigned from the party, didn't he? From what party? From UK. Then he just stepped down. He said, I'm not going to I'm not yeah, going to leave not, this. And why did he, why did he return to politics? Why did he return to politics? Because he realised that he could... As you rightfully said, we need a new party. He needed a new scheme Why? to get Why? his, he get his place. Crutch. He needed a new crutch. I mean, if he, he really knew what crutch, it, a new crutch. Nigel you know, really Farage needed a crutch yeah. to prop up his gigantic ego and his gigantic might. So Man, what do you, if, what do you yeah, think about egos Jeremy are quite Jeremy rare Corbyn. in politics, aren't they? Sorry, egos you, are quite rare in politics, aren't they? Well, well Farage is quite uh, 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 rare in politics. He's a light might know it all. And he's also None very common. No one partner, else that you could no? describe and that's like why that. he didn't stand for parliament. What do you think about Jeremy Corbyn? And the it's future time prime minister. because the British public <laughs> yeah, would right. tell him where to go. Is that a flying across the sky? Tell us about Jeremy Corbyn. And by the way, Farage. A dangerous joke. Farage, that's a French name. Isn't Jeremy it? Corbyn <laughs> getting into number 10 Downing Street English. would be a bigger nightmare than us not leaving the EU, quite frankly. That's a, that's Which is why the Brexit Party stood down 317 uh -huh. candidates. No, it isn't. Because they no, realised the they danger afford, of a Corbyn they government. Afford to lose As anyone over, over the age of 40 does realise the danger of a Corbyn government. Because anyone over the age of 40 is probably just about old enough to remember what the likes of him did in the 70s and the 80s. In, in cities like Liverpool, in cities like London, where the rubbish piled up on the streets, where the schools were closed because of the strikes and, and the Jeremy lack of Corbyn oil wasn't in to, government. to heat up the classrooms. Jeremy I'm government. just about Corbyn old enough was not to remember that. In that and believe me, I will do all I can to keep that dangerous nutter outside of He wasn't a minister in that parliament. No, but he stands, he stands, he stands for the crazy Marxism that countries like Venezuela right. you know, you are being screwed right. into you know, the ground. You know, the most Marxist parties actually don't support him. They actually don't think he's a Marxist, by the way. There's very little of his Marxism left. That's the word that you have any facts for that. If he gets in, he'll be the oldest. We're living older. We're putting more money into the health service. We're taking more people out of tax. There are more people in employment than have ever been before. There are more women in employment than have ever been before. What does that mean? What does that mean? In employment. That could mean five hours a week, ten hours a week. pension It's not 40 hours a week with a pension. So these are wiggle rigged. Wriggle words, people in work. Okay, another statistic. We have less people unemployed than we ever had. Before. Yeah, again, that's another yeah, 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 fixed yeah, yeah, figure. And that's not because of many that's times, not because of zero hour contracts. Contract. We have more we have more people in full time permanent employment than we've ever had before. How many times has the Tory government since 2010 changed the definition of unemployment? I think, they did it once. I think they did it once. I think they did it once in the 1990s. Especially with universal credit that comes in. Now you can actually work for five hours a week. You're not unemployed. Well, I think that's basic dictionary definition, isn't it? No, but you can still get universal credit. And, which is a nonsense, which is why they're is, also taking more and more people out of tax people, by raising the lower tax threshold. Quite well, but they're also getting benefits. Which is ridiculous, which is why you tackle it by raising the tax threshold, right. which so they're doing as well. Okay, let's check. You it's have ridiculous. A child. Someone on are the minimum wage, benefit? the national minimum wage, should are be paying you, tax. Are that is you ridiculous, getting, isn't it? Are you getting child benefit for your 11 No, I'm not. But you should be. No. Yes, you should. <laughs> because until the age do you really of 15, want to know why? Benefit. Because You're not either me or my wife are on more than £55,000. And if you knew the first thing you're talking about, you'd know that you can't get child benefit if, you're if one of the parents' salaries is 55000 or more. Go away and read, James. You're a bit, back, you're a so bit in the past. How much is that wife costing you? Let's not go there. <laughs> That's the That's the yeah. Tax credits were funding employers paying their staff low salaries. That is obvious. It was, it was a rubbish thing. But wasn't, it, wasn't that the Labour exactly Party that brought that thing. in? Wasn't it the Labour Party that brought in tax credits? Uh, and who brought in universal credit? Who brought it's in? Who brought in auto enrolment of pensions? Idea. Who brought in massively increasing national living minimum wages?
Who you brought in those things? Why do you want Who, to go back well, to Let's go off employment. Nine. Who brought in gay marriage? Oh, you're against that? No. Right, so, so what do you want? Next you want point. a medal? <laughs> Your point that all the Tories do is nasty, evil no, nonsense I never said that. is, is no, rubbish. No, no. You know, there are some nice Tories, a very small number. But they've all left the party. Well, unfortunately, all the nice out, Labour Party members have left Johnson. as well. Johnson's now whipping everyone. Holy shit, his brother left the party. Exactly. Even his brother can't stand him. The man who supported him on the lockdown. Well, that, you wanted to talk about climate change. You mean the climate change denier brother of Jeremy Corbyn? That That's one. not the point. Piers the point Corbyn. is... The one who comes here preaching against the lie or preaching yeah, the lie. But Piers Corbyn change. has never been an MP and he's clearly he a nutter. He he's clearly a nutter. Up. Joe Johnson is a sensible guy who basically had to resign because his brother was whipping the hell out of him. Really? He didn't want to do it. Physically. Not physically yes, so. whipping him. What do you call what do you uh, they, they they take him into a back room and they get the shirt off and they whip them. <laughs> What's wrong with a bit of whipping? Well, uh, you know the each to their own, I say. Well, you know, if it's consensual whipping, why not? Well, if look, if, yeah. you, if you want that kind of thing, please. I, you Should know, you stop me if I did? Sorry? Should you stop me if I did? Well, why are you going on about whipping? He brings up subjects. Like yeah, I was analyzed. making a joke, but obviously you've thought about this long and hard, and you're into it. Sexual freedom, which, which absolutely. Is Sexual right. freedom is as, as important as all the other freedom. The freedom of speech that we're doing. Freedom to get there. the shit whipped out of you, I guess. It is a freedom if you define it. Better. Freedom against puritanical lecturers who don't want you to enjoy yourself. They're just over there. We are in the 21st century. We don't need ancient, mythological, puritanical idiots telling us what to do in our bedroom. <laughs> oh. Do you not agree? No. Next question. I haven't written it yet. Nigel hasn't got this mic and, and, and told us. Oh yeah, where's the manifesto? Who are you, by vote? the way? Who are you voting oh, yeah. where's for? Where's the manifesto? Who are you? Where's the Labour Party's manifesto? It's coming out on Thursday. You can get it. And Thursday. There, there, there won't be a manifesto. I want it now. The, the the fire ice party. party. It'll just be a toilet roll. So what are we going to have? Free broadband. Free Rogers? dentistry. What's wrong with free, free broadband? Free lollipops if you're under eighteen. Why are you going to say exactly. I don't want free broadband? Who's going to pay for it? You are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, Amazon, Am all the corporations who don't pay their taxes are going to pay for it. <laughs> so you back to... Excuse me, Mr. Ladderholder, are you going back to Tory Kensington Church? Yeah, I am. Sorry, I am going back to Kensington. Wow. It'd be better to go back to Islington. Yeah. Where, yeah, where do you live? You live Amersworth in Fulham. Labour. It's true. Andy, Amersworth Labour and Fulham Council. Labour Fulham. Fulham. And look at the lamppost all across Hammersmith and Fulham. It's EU propaganda. So, How much is that costing? So, so, so you, you, you Hammersmith and Fulham. Fulham. You EU propaganda flying from every lamppost in Hammersmith and Fulham. Oh, no. I don't think councils should be wasting money on propaganda flying from lamp posts. Well, it's not propaganda, it's it public and, 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 and it's visible. So if it was propaganda, so if you would come along, make a complaint, and it would have ended up in court. The fact that it's in there would suggest it's not propaganda. You'll probably find it's the policy of the local MPs and the Labour Council. And the majority of That's the sake of that. that borough, and the majority of the I'm sorry you look at the right. You live in London. It must be terrible. Because there's all these people, you know, got all these dangerous ideas. was 42% Almost, almost, you almost, made, you almost made it. You almost made it. Just over 42%. Yeah. And do you know of the 133 um, um, uh, opinion polls taken since Brexit? How many? 133 official ones, not Brexit Party, not Tory, you know, propaganda. 133 done by respectable polling organisations. 
the Remain vote is going higher. That's why you don't want another referendum. Because one's enough. No, no. Who, who's, who says in a democracy there's a golden rule? Only one referendum. Who says that's a golden rule? Who says that's a Trump card? Sorry to bring up Trump. Who says that's a Trump card? No, there's no Trump card. There's no golden rule. It's whatever the people decide. And what's wrong with the people deciding? Because people are slaves for their own desires. Everybody wants everything for themselves. Well, speak for yourself. I think you're revealing something about Seriously? Yourself. You're telling me that 17 and a half million people voted for one Brexit? No, they voted for 17 and a half million type of Brexit. That's why we are in a mess. It's like a million voted for Lanaka, a million voted for Mallorca, a million voted for Morocco. When they arrived in the airport, there was no plane, there was no hotel books, nothing. So everybody voted for their own desires, how they wanted and how they saw well, Brexit for not, themselves. Not quite. I mean, you know, there, 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 there was some skeletal detail. <laughs> yes. of, you know. Yeah. Wasn't it all in the question? Do you want to stay or, or you know, no, or leave? I was talking about everybody vote. When they vote for something, it's their own subjective view of that particular thing, how they see it. But staying or leaving is quite binary, isn't it? Well, what is staying and what is leaving? Can you explain? Nobody knows. Why is he on about 17.4 million different views? Yeah, it is. views of a binary question. Really? Hail Caesar okay, Johnson! Whatever. Hail Caesar Johnson! <laughs> vote Tory, vote for Caesar Johnson. He wants to be our great dictator, elected dictatorship. That's elected, elected dictatorship. dictatorship. That's elected dictatorship was warned about by a well-known Tory thinker. Can you define an elected dictatorship? Let me, give you a, let me give you the story behind elected dictatorship. There used to be a guy called Quinton Hogg, okay? And he was a born-again Christian right-wing Tory in the 1960s. The same Boris Johnson, he, when he was a mayor, he said Brexit detail. is very bad he for this country. Speech. So what I, did it change his mind? I'm not a Tory supporter. But, but I thought he made a that's speech the whole point that of under the British say, system it is mind. possible to have an elected so dictator. And I would suggest Seriously. to you that Mr Johnson <laughs> is showing all the signs through his impatience, through his, you know, he, he wants to punch to do everything, you know. Uh, he, uh, he's not interested in the detail. He doesn't know how many Joe children Swinson he's got. Boxing, he well. doesn't know how many children he's got. <laughs> you know, he's under his third marriage. <laughs> you know, it's everything for, for the dictator. <laughs> well, you, you watch out, my so friend. You, you, so therefore, then you look across uh, Corbyn, McDonald, Seamus Mill. And, and, and the and Labour the Party is a Democratic Party. Ring when in your ears when, when, more. Look, the Labour Party is a Democratic Party. It listens to its members. Look, when you go, to, I've been to a tar to, I've been to a Tory Party conference. They Why? Don't, they don't vote on anything. Why? Because I used to report on them. Okay. So I've been there. Okay. It's just a weekend and a beano so and journalist. a booze up. That's all it is. So you're a journalist. Why not? No, I'm a, I, 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 an observer. You went to the Conservative Party to as observe. an observer. Yes. For the media, just For, For the media. media. Yeah, you weren't a journalist. No. I was an online writer, not a journalist. I'm not trained as a journalist. You're an untrained journalist. No, no. I'm an on. I was an on. This is the, yeah, early, like you. the early days of the internet when you could just write stuff on the internet. Like community you know, journalists sit there and write it. Community journalists. <laughs> <laughs> Eight points ahead. Let's talk about Eight points ahead. Better talking about this shit than that shit over there. Yeah, you got Ancient a higher mythological. You got a higher quality. My God's shit. better than yours. No, but seriously, 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 what did Theresa May try to do? Theresa May tried to do Brexit is Brexit. Theresa May fan. Listen, what did Theresa May try to do? She tried to ram something through Parliament. I don't think Theresa May has rammed using, anything in her life. Using <laughs> King Henry VIII's <laughs> reserve powers of the worst she's done is run the queen. through a field of wheat. Yeah, okay. and that was exciting for her. <laughs> okay. Boris Johnson you know, is going to try the same trial oh, trick. Using oh, the reserve, done lots of using the reserve card <laughs> yeah, with the of second the monarchy I believe from so. King Henry VIII's time, where he could just sign a bit of paper in, in council and it's law. 
<laughs> That's why. Site, site Trump. Now you talk you know about. You, Trump. you talk Steve, about the system not What would it be so it special when we leave? Our politicians still Wait, can so use reserve cars. How? To can you explain? Say, can you explain, please? When we leave, what's going to happen the next day? You leave. They're going to kick me out first. The next day. They're going to go so, out so, so in, in the year 2050, when <laughs> we leave. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye, Steve. <laughs> Steve, what's going to be so special? In a hundred years, the British government will send someone over to Brussels and they won't know why they're doing it. They say, why do we do this every year? And I say, it's an ancient tradition. We have no idea why we do it. Yeah, to keep the peace? And it will all be built on going over so there. So what about people with, with foreign brides? Sorry? What about people with foreign brides? <laughs> like me. Like me. Yours has a so passport already. What's so. your point? People with foreign brides. So you're not worried that you're not worried about in Brexit well, that for starters any EU national that's here on EU. the day that we leave can EU. apply for settlement status and stay here forever. But she's not EU, is she? No. So, so what are you talking about? Non-EU people. That's right. Well, we're going to need more non-EU people, aren't we, post Brexit? Why do we need we? non-EU well, people? Do. But who's going to who's 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 decide? Strawberries and the courgettes? In this, I thought you were going to do that. In this who's wonderful pour the coffee. In this in wonderful. In I thought you were going to do that, coffee. Steve. In this wonderful Brexit future, no. who's going to decide? Is it going to are be you business, above that, aren't you? or is it going to be a politician who's going to decide? Politicians having listened to business people. Really? And what did Boris Johnson say about business? He's a businessman. He said, "Fuck business." The no, party of business. He was quoted. He's a and he never man. denied it. Boris Johnson is a businessman. Is that what you base on? Oh, no, himself. Well, in fact, his inner, you know, so his, own his inner yeah, real he's self. Business man. Steve, what's going to be so special the next day when we leave? There's going to be birds everywhere. It's going to be sunny and warm. We're going to be walking around with no clothes on virtually. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> no, There's no, going no. to be no crime. It's going to be perfect. Can you explain, please? We in power of our own destiny. Seriously? <laughs> what? You're going to be wow. selling goods all over the world. Uh, communist China is going to be the number one economy in the world. That's where most of our manufacturing is done. And you're going to have. They're going to be and, nice and to you. How does our EU membership affect that? Sorry? <laughs> We're not getting. Affect what? Chlorinated the chicken from America. Well, it means that there's 27. With American there's 27 um, economies. Chlorine. How big? China how, instead of one. How busy KFC is. Okay, that is probably British chicken. <laughs> that is British chicken, not chlorinated chicken. Most of it halal. Yeah, of course. Halal well, is good for you. He, he can't stand halal. Meat. I know. Nazi salute. Even, even, even. Oh, even so the when, next day when, when the Brexit will happen, I've, I've you're gonna say no halal more halal chicken. Halal slaughter is virtually the same I would as love it slaughter. He doesn't uh, uh, I knew halal. it. I, you're gonna come out Hallelujah! of the way. Hallelujah! Look, Dizzy! Jesus coming! <laughs> Jesus, come in, look, Didi! Taxi, taxi. Religion that way. Religion no, that way. No, I'm humanitarian. I negotiated Good Friday Agreement. No, you didn't. Yes, of course. It was me. No, I went behind the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten times. About 50 scene. miles behind the scene. Uh, and I wrote uh, the dogging 78 scene. Scene. <laughs> Which scene I spent did you go behind? Pounds. I was the one who's persuaded the terrorists. I'm surprised you haven't asked me what the Brexit Party's stance on dogging is. <laughs> well, now that you bring it up. <laughs> Please explain. I, Please explain. I am the one who negotiated the Brexit. To be honest, it is under deal. the cover of darkness. I sold Brexit. Between consenting deal. adults, why not? Look, look, and I send I'm quite liberal, you see. I know, I know, I'm quite and liberal. And you keep looking at me as if to, to, to sort of... <laughs> Hallelujah! You know, look busy! Ali Baba! Ali Jesus coming! Jesus never, look busy! Jesus, Jesus coming! Jesus never came in his life. That's true. Jesus will come back. He's still alive in heaven. He didn't have sex. He never died. Why did Jesus have so few women in his life? Yeah, why did he, he prefer a man? people know. Why he did had, Jesus he prefer he wife, male followers? And, no uh, one. Ask him. <laughs> ask Ian, yeah. He's the, he's right, that's it. Take your religion away. I, I, I know I'm a sage in the story. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Do you, how long did you torture that squirrel? To get <laughs> Look, he's got two of them. Two squirrels. Beat the poor squirrels. Slightly older one here and a younger one there. Yeah, Fluffy one there. I'm a big one. <laughs> Can you explain, Steve? The next the day when we leave. No, what will be the biggest 
amazing thing will happen to Great Britain. People will be walking proudly with their chests puffed out. That's right. And they'll have yeah. a union jack. Everyone. Uh, because, because we, as we all know, union. What did we'll what did Emily Thornbury say about people yeah. that have the English flag? Oh, we'll be so proud we can't even bend. Show me, show me one other country on this planet where it's become negative to fly the national flag. Show me one other country on this planet. Excuse me, sir. You, that, you lefty answering. Marxists have tried your best to turn our flag into a Nazi symbol. Nonsense of it. What other country is it? Does Nazism equate to patriotism? Show me one country. Russia. As no. Dr. Johnson said, patriotism <laughs> is, is the last the most, refuge of scoundrels. Russia is one of the most um, patriotic nations on this planet. No, 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 the no, great no, no, motherland. No, no, no. If Putin, here, here's, here's something for you. I was reading this week. What? Okay, about, yeah, yeah, about Russia. If Putin is so patriotic, why are 57% of Russia's uh, assets owned by companies outside of Russia by his friends? Because Putin and his circle of oligarchs wor won't worry about their wallets more oh, really? than they worry about well, anything else. Boris Johnson well, doesn't. I, I Boris Johnson Putin doesn't. A, Compared a with the likes of Putin, no. And be Putin has billions of Russia stuck, stuck away around the world. You really think Boris has billions stuffed around the world? It doesn't matter if you do this much but or Russia's that much. the leading one. Wrong is wrong. 57% by far. Right. So how can you be a patriot? Because we know how what can you be a patriot The oligarchs stole it from the country. He is, but you're stealing the assets. You're making the Russian and people And that's what happened poorer. under Yeltsin. No, initially. no, no. The 57% is the latest result yeah, under Putin. Not denying that. Under Putin. It's the mafia. It's, it's, Russia is a corrupt, it's fraudulent nation. Oh, right, great. Just happens also to be highly patriotic. I don't think the two are connected, but, 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 really. But, you know, what's the Nobody patriotism else is. made of? It's completely it's it's what's it completely made of? superficial. It's on television. It's you know, it's a, it, it, How often do you speak to Russians? Um, I try not to. Likewise, and I'm married to one. <laughs> yeah, you're married to a Russian. Oh, you are. You're right, you're right. They are the most good patriotic you. Good of people. The motherland. Good They're just so good for you. So do you speak great. Russian? Great. Niet. 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 Is that what you keep hearing? Niet. <laughs> That's as much as I've learned. Как ты меня зовут? Хорошо. Хорошо. Your name is Хорошо. Great. Good. I thought it said Cock de la. Cock de la? Yes, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I asked your name. Как ты меня зовут? All right. You know more than me. Yeah, they well, invaded us. They, they, yes, they, they, they invaded you before we did. <laughs> yeah. So, let me ask you about this. <laughs> this is just Sick. like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. No, no, anyone, with anyone, the audience. anyone can join in. I've been talking to a lot, a lot of Tories, and they're going to vote for Boris, and they think that after Boris gets in, he's going to reinvent One Nation Toryism. I said to them, One Nation Toryism is dead. All the One Nation Tories have left, they've resigned their seats, and old Boris is going to turn the Tory party into the Republican party. Well, they're, they're doing quite well, aren't they? Well, are they? Yeah. They lost an election yesterday in Louisiana, and that was after Trump went to Louisiana three times and put his personal stamp on the candidate they lost. And Louisiana, you know, Louis Louisiana's not terribly liberal. Trump's coming back, isn't he, just before the election? Well, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's time like, for the leftists to have like, another party. It's like yeah. acid reflux, you know, like, you know, he keeps coming back. No, he's going to be impeached. You reckon? Yes. The evidence is very strong. But the Democrats are going very, very, very slow. They're getting each piece in place. And even if they don't impeach him, it's time, it's time to happen. For the next not, election. not to the same extent, but they've become a bit of an embarrassment like the British Labour Party has, haven't they? Not, as I say, not to the same extent. No, there, there, there's a Marxist. I, they've been taken over by the more far extremes really of there. Obama has made a speech this weekend saying that the revolutionary side of the Democratic Party needs to be calmed down. Plus, Michael Bloomberg, do you think that Michael Bloomberg, the uh, Jewish New York uh, businessman, <laughs> is going to be at least spending $100 million on ads against Trump. He may even run as a candidate. Do you like that? Rich people spending lots of money Listen, on I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not against rich, I'm not against rich people. 
uh, if they pay their taxes, if they're if they're not offshore. I'm not talking about okay. being against rich people. Are you against rich people spending lots of money on political campaigns? Uh, as long as they do it above board, and yeah, we know that right. So John Bloomberg has announced he's going to do it. A lot of the people that paid for ads for Trump, we still don't know who they are. The Soros published what he spent. Huh? The Soros published what he spent on work. Uh, during what? Anyway. Well, well, Soros isn't an American citizen, so we can't. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that. That's why I said it. So, so you completely <laughs> changed the so subject. Yeah, that's to, what happened. To, to we were Jew talking about Brexit. The, the, the Jewish yeah. man Soros. Jewish. He was Jewish. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't know he's Jewish. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Well, because he's like, relevant. There's an awful lot of online conspiracies which kind of take on a slightly anti Semitic tone when they accuse George Soros of doing this, that, and the other. Okay. That's a legitimate view to have. Well, Turkish bread before the bread. Well, he's a European citizen. He's a European citizen. No, I'm not against wealth. I'm not against wealth generation. If you pay your taxes, uh, uh, and Bloomberg does, um, I'm going to pay. Um, well, well you're, yeah, you're highlighting offshoring. Offshoring I'm against because it's a way of avoiding paying your tax. So that means you're physically present in one jurisdiction, but you don't pay tax in that jurisdiction. You pay tax in another jurisdiction that has very low tax rates. So you're avoiding, it's a tax avoidance scheme. But what I'm against using that? And the Labour Party wants, the Labour Party wants to bring in laws which are long overdue, which are, will be supported right across the board because everyone wants the proper level of taxation so that people who need it get it. But what about using their wealth to impose their views on the rest of the world? Well, they don't impose their views. Well, so uh, you can't impose your views uh, today. Uh, he uses his wealth for it. If it's declared, okay, if it, it complies with the regulations, if it passes the regulator, uh, which is currently the AS, ASA, um, I don't have a problem. I think, I think the Labour Party is Supposing, let's just say, I come up with an idea, really brilliant, we took off, and I ended up starting to pump me up, selling this service, this, whether it be washing machines or garden rakes, whatever, made a fortune, then I thought, you know, do you know what, I'm going to piss off to Monte Carlo, but, I, but my company's still going to be here, so I, although I won't pay any tax personally, I'll have a company what's here, which is earning quite a lot of money, it's paying corporation tax here, it's employing a lot of people yeah, here. but you're still on the same subject. So people should pay uh, tax, they shouldn't avoid paying tax. Monaco has been used by the likes of Philip Green. Philip Green, um, sorry? Yeah, no, I know about that. Right, so Philip Green, Philip Green has set up a tax avoidance scheme whereby he transferred the ownership of all of his assets to his wife. His wife is resident in Monaco and that's, you know, right. So his companies in the UK where, you know, that's where he started, pay very little tax. I think that's wrong. Why is, why is why is Sorry. no? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, 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 your morality is we shouldn't do anything for the one person we're doing it. Another person doing it. What proportion of businesses? What proportion of businesses? Most business organizations That's supplied by the National Health Service. Okay? So most businesses are socially responsible. They recognize they are. Most social, most businesses realize that they're part of a so they're part of a society. It's a very small number uh, uh, exceptions, Amazon, a lot of the new eBay companies whose business model is basically 
don't pay tax. Cadbury, they pay tax. Sorry? Does Cadbury pay tax? I can't. Cadbury, the company, they pay tax. Are you going to tell me they don't? Well, Cadbury, like Cadbury, you bring up like that, is it? Cadbury yeah. is one of the chocolate companies in this, this country that was started by the, the, the Quakers. And you ask a question, you want to hear the answer. Yeah, yeah. No, right. So, you, as you well know, all of the most of all of the chocolate companies were started by Quakers, yeah. socially responsible. Um, Who were um, involved in slavery right, after right. the abolition. Well. Cadbury were bought by Kraft, right? Yeah. Right. And Kraft made a whole uh, an American uh, 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 corporation. We made a whole bunch of promises about the workforce in the UK. They broke that within 12 months, and then they've uh, they've resorted to uh, offshoring. No, no, no. My dad's their treasurer. Well, there you are. <laughs> but companies like that. So he sleeps well at night. Yeah, I think he does. He's got a very nice bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a whole line there with bank accounts. Policy bedlam. Like <laughs> 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 the point is, that big, you know, big corporate companies. It's not just Amazon. You know, it's all, all so, the FTSE 100 companies. None of them pay tax. No. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would like it's, to, it's, I, it's, I, I would like to it's more than a tiny minority, minority. Like it's more than a tiny minority, yeah. Yeah. Um, it is a tiny, a tiny minority, it's not, James no, it's Dyson is a classic okay. example, if you want, yeah. Look, he came up with an idea himself, he spent donkey's years developing it, that's not true. It then took um, off. You can he set up a uh, company. I've just, uh, I'm about three quarters I believe late. Now he's I'm a boy from Singapore or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. He's but he does not allege that the majority of businesses are not paying tax. Well, yeah. What he does is like uses examples, yeah. extreme yeah. examples, yeah. That's, that's what as to show oh, of how much damage well, I, can be I'm done by a very large operation that decides it doesn't want to pay tax. But he in no way alleges that this is a tax right across the board. What he does detail is the extreme costs. Not only does it show that the company in other businesses is relying on that to set up shelves down the chain. Uh, offshore uh, so islands will charge you know, 10 if someone's come up with a great idea, idea you can create very few jobs, ten thousand jobs and then there's possibly set up another like kind of same operation. amount again I'm you know, saying, relying on that one way or another down the chain then, then, then if someone don't pay tax I just think we'll say what surely you've contributed or they've contributed fair amount of society by creating all of that you know, Jeremy Corbyn is a sort of bloke who just the way you can just keep going. Like you, 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 you can keep swapping any person on the old. I'll accept that. But I'm simply saying to you, that's still, that's not the majority practice of businesses in this country. It isn't. Um, if you go to the, CP, the CBI, the CBI have a policy against offshoring and non-payment of tax. The CBI, let me finish my point. The CBI, the CBI, the CBI, the CBI want a change in the law to make offshoring um, uh, more difficult. Okay. Yeah, the chambers of commerce, right? You can look at all the business really organisations. They all recognise that if a small minority are not paying tax, that's unfair competition advantage. But you're talking about tax. They do all about tax avoidance. No, I'm talking about two. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, tax avoidance is illegal. Tax evasion is illegal. Tax avoidance is illegal. It depends on the detail. If you go and look at the uh, the select committee, the the companies that do all this money planning, they like to think there's a nice separate line between them. But it depends on the detail. It really does depend on the detail. It doesn't. It depends on who you are. If you're a big business, you can get away with it. If you're an individual. Ask. Um, do you know Carlos? He walks around to the Italian restaurant with a Rolls Royce umbrella. Ask him because he he engages. In Tax and because he was an individual. Well, what did he tell you when you asked him? Pardon? Does he avoid? Well, no, he said that he tried to, but then he had to pay it back because he's you know, in 20 restaurants or so. And because he's a small individual, he's got a lot more than 20 now. He's got 22, I think, 22 or so. This whole thing about that. avoiding tax ain't, just ain't going to work. But you know, in, in terms of the business, in terms of the business that I'm talking about that are, are not paying the taxes, yeah. he's, he's not just he's a small price. He's, he's, he's a millionaire. Right? I mean, people, people even bricked up their windows, didn't they? In the, in and they're a very small number, the total number of businesses in this country. Yeah, because only because most businesses live in the Yeah, but Yeah, but that's my claim. My claim is it's a very small number of companies who are doing the most. If you're encompassing SMEs, then we'll. Obviously, that's well. Obviously, that's so uh, I don't know why we're arguing about it. It's an obvious point which you can see, but our friend I mean, he said very clearly he was talking about the top the FTSE 100. So you can have 100, 100 no, but his claim is his claim is his claim is, and you, you're just about to repeat it again. That all of the companies in the no, no, the FTSE no, don't pay tax. 
I, 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 would, I would suggest to you you're wrong on that. I'm absolutely correct. And what's That's your source? What's your source for that? Surely. No, no. Well, well, okay. Tell me well, where to. My source, my tell source me. Tell experience. me where to go and read about it. My personal What's your source? Moneyland. You've read the book yourself. No, but Moneyland. Look, Moneyland does not make that claim. Yes, it does. No, it does not. It outlines schemes which big businesses can employ. Yeah, yeah, but it is not. And they it does not places. claim. And why does it not claim? Because the uh, membership of the FTSE 100 changes, yeah. as you know. Yeah. People can get chucked out. M and S chucked out. Right. So. Their balance sheets. Maybe that's what we should both do. We'll go away. Well, we'll pick well, the yeah, yeah. But Moneyland details. No, 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 no. Moneyland. Look, debt. have they you read the book? Moneyland. Moneyland. I understand how it works, but looking at their you balance sheets. You understand how it works, but you don't think it's happening. Of course I do. Look, look. Of course well, I know what's extent. happening. I've already extent, said that the Labour Party's going to bring in a law, which has not. They're not going to enter power, are they? They'd like to bring Right. Yeah. Okay. But. You're not listening to the point. The point is that there's a cross-party agreement that the worst offenders, mostly uh, uh, new online businesses, who are getting away with paying, you know, you know, five, six thousand pounds when their turnover is in the billions. We know who they are. They've all been looked at, right? So there's cross-party support for that. So the Labour Party might not get in, but whoever gets in will probably bring it in. Okay? It's it's waiting to be done. It's waiting. It's, you know, it's a, it's an easy. Of course they will. Of course they will. The committee, the Treasury Committee, looked at this. Look, go and read the Treasury Committee report. There, there, there's, you know, look. If you're if you're if you if you believe in um, uh, uh, a fair wage for people, the Tory Party believes in that. You know, it's going to offer the minimum wage. If the Tory Party believes in a fair a fair tax system, why would the Tory Party? Yeah, you, you ask a question, you want to hear the answer. You, you know, you have all the, have all the answers. The Tory. No, 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 no. The Tory party you will. You still haven't let me make my point. But when I was talking about larger businesses, yeah. I'm talking about their market capitalization, right? So you've yeah. got 100 SMEs that turn well, over. Well, no, you were talking about their, their, you were talking about their balance sheet. You were talking about the balance sheet. The point, the point of Moneyland is, is it says that you can read a balance sheet, but they keep the stuff off the balance okay, sheet. So you haven't read the book. Did. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. I, I recommended have. the bloody book to him. You uh, you've read it. it. You haven't taken it in. The gold is. The gold is. I read. No, that's the last time I'm going to recommend you a book. Oh no, I'm devastated. <laughs> no, no, nowhere, go, nowhere in that book does it say the top 100 FTSE are not paying any tax. It outlines, it outlines the way in which they can. Uh, of course do it. he does. Of course he does. But nowhere, nowhere does he claim. He does. Nowhere does he claim. Still, still won't let me finish my point. Because you're not making a point. You're just sort of right, well, talking to yourself. It, so how do you know? Okay. Go on then. What's so your point? So you have a FTSE 100 company, right? Right. You know, let's say a billion pounds. Right. And then you've got a hundred SMEs that turn over a million. Right. You can say only a small proportion of companies because it's one company versus a hundred. Yeah. But if you look at the amount that they're turning yeah. over, a billion versus a hundred million. Right. The avoidance on a billion is right. far greater than that on the hundred million, isn't it? Even though uh, there's a hundred. Obviously, but that was not my point. You, you weren't listening. I was. My point was that it, it's a small proportion. I'll make. I'll say it again, small and you can go and check more. it. Of all businesses in the UK that are involved in tax avoidance, do you agree with that? Or not? Do you agree? Most fine. Well, that was the only point I was making, right? On that point, and it's an obvious point. So I don't know why we went round and round. So let's talk about the minimum wage. Okay. Do you think McDonald's employees should be paid fifteen pounds an hour? Well, if, the, if Parliament decides that everyone should be paid a certain minimum and McDonald's wants to... McDonald's or McDonald's? McDonald's, it's McDonald's, not Mac. Uh, uh, no, no, are you speaking about Ronald McDonald or Ronald Was McDonald's? it a Big Mac or a Big Muck? <laughs> it's Muck. A Big I, I have to teach can, you I, can I go and order a Big Muck? I have to teach you English people as a person from the North. It's not Mac. Mac is M-A-C. But anyway, that's a side point. Okay, I'll um, make you, McDonald's, you about If McDonald's or whatever they call themselves... I mean, the, the, the worst thing about McDonald's is they have the cheek to call themselves restaurants. I mean, we know what they are. It's a free, a free piss shop. Piss um, shop? Free piss shop. It's free piss. toilets. Free toilets. Oh, I see. Yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and even the toilets are shit. I mean, they always stink of that. Whatever. Anyway, we are, you know, this is one of the traumas of modern life. Um, okay, if they want to continue to, to employ people and it, you know they've got a very profitable oper op operation, then they will have to comply with the law. There you go. Yeah. But it's I mean, the you question know, was, do you, you know, know that are, 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 you, are you going to argue against employment. companies following the law? No. Right. So if Parliament you know, votes for it, that's such a loaded question. That's it's not a loaded question at all. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not loaded at all. increasing the minimum wage. 
leads to a fall in employment because it's a disincentive. No, no, that was the argument yes, which the is. no, it doesn't. The that was the argument that was put by the Tory government, by Major's government, when uh, Tony Blair announced and Gordon Brown implemented the minimum wage. But guess what? what they the changed their tune. They changed the tune, and the Tory party is now in favour of the minimum wage because there's no so evidence the that that mean? happens. So what does the curve look like? So let's say you know you've got zero, you employ zero people. Zero, well, no, you, you know, can't employ zero 100, people. 100 you employ zero people. You, you can't, can't employ zero people. You can. So you've got zero here, 100 <laughs> It's here. not employment, is it? Zero here, well, South 100 here. But this is a different and argument. this is 15. So at what point do you see a diminishing rate of employment? Look, so I, I'm saying... 15, does it look, keep going up to 20? Or does it diminish after 15? Look, I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, go and look at the arguments put forward by, by John Major against Tony Blair bringing this in. They said it would be shock and horror. There will be businesses closing. It never happened. And now the Tory party, and they've done this for the last 20 years, and they will go into this election. Even the right-wing Tory party under Boris Johnson, they're going to put up the minimum wage. So this is an old argument. What the greatest thing will happen when we leave? Bre when we do the break the, the next day, oh, what that will be the greatest question, thing happen? Yeah. We'll be able to deport you, man. Oh, shit. That's a good one! Oh, That's a good one! Well, that was really funny. I knew it! Well, it on, I told you. What, 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 I told what's funny you, about man. deporting oh, people? Grow up. <laughs> it's a joke. It's called satire. Well, not, not where I, I come from, is it? Oh, really? No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't really, I don't, I, I don't really, I don't really get off on reactionary oh, humour. Oh, stale, oh, deporting stale people, left wing, deporting, deporting comedy, deporting people. It's so funny. You just grab them and chuck them in a plane, and now they might die of a heart attack in a plane. How many? Here's a question for you. How many asylum seekers? How many asylum seekers have died in custody? In custody? Illegally in the country? That's not true. Yeah, yeah, that's really funny. That's really funny. But it'll never happen to you, Steve. Don't worry. It'll never happen to you. Tell us a good joke, Jay. Here we go. I'm going to be a job. People are leaving. Okay, for, for, for 23 years I've been living in this country. I might have called my, maybe people have shouted at me, Paki go home, maybe about 10 times. The, the moment Brexit happened, every week somebody shouted at me, Paki go home. This and that. After the Brexit, and I'm not lying. And after the no, Brexit, so things. Oh, James. Okay. Yeah, I mean. So before Brexit, nobody <laughs> yeah. called me a Nazi. Nobody called me a fascist. Nobody yeah. called me a racist. <laughs> yeah. After Brexit, I get Why called you a look, Nazi, right? a fascist, yeah, a racist. because maybe you came out of the closet. Because you're, you're you're one of these people who wants to observe <laughs> everything and not take part. Of course, one take part. What are we one all. There you go. <laughs> Maybe you, everybody always tries to reduce the debate. They go, the, the following day, yeah. you know, what will change? And we all know. No, my, my. No, no, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Really we all know that you know really politics funny. is about where you can survive. I nearly spit myself laughing. There's a lot of attitudes today. People, 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 people getting deported. What will happen? Really I think he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, you know, yeah, there so might so be one thing you're speaking about. How long is that short term? You know. So there are certain things you can't make jokes. We're not going to be the last time anyone uses soapbox here. Well, Al's yeah. 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 on the run up to the election, yeah. there was a lot of. Well, there was a lot of. There would be an immediate recession. There wasn't. There would be an emergency. No, no, no. There wasn't. There would be double losses. You're free. We never left. You're free to make We haven't left yet, my friend. No, 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 no. 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 But the thing is, you don't make fun of all other people. Based on a result, emergency budget, immediate recession. Job losses, when in fact so I will put the same question to you. Increased. I will put the same question to you. What would happen the greatest thing to British public the, the next day when we leave? So after we've left, in the sort of the months after. No, no, no. The next be, day. Well, the Jordan, following day, the following day you, we'll be Brexit. free to negotiate Jordan, right. trade deals with anybody yeah. that we want to. We won't be tied. Oh, we're not it. doing any negotiation Jordan. now with we anybody. We're not allowed to. We have to do it through the European Union. We've got Australia coming up. Yeah, because European we've Union have Donald rules Trump and regulations. Wants, and we've got yeah. Donald Trump saying he wants to triple. Trade so you don't want rules and regulations? Trillion. Why aren't we? No, anarchy. Back to uh, no, 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 workers' rights, chlorinated chicken coming from America, oh, yes. of the GM Labour food, Labour GM Labour food Labour coming. We've had it's not about Labour. I am, I, 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 I am the member. <laughs> no, Jeremy Corbyn, I liked him, but now yeah. I think he's not fit for the purpose because but you know what? He's garbage, too flipping honest. Chicken. Do you eat salad? In politics, you don't do need salad. an honest, <laughs> honest no, do you person. Eat salad? 
not about the salad. Really? salad, yeah. salad yes it's no. about... Huh? It's chlorinated. No, I don't. I just went for a swim <laughs> and a chlorinated swimming pool. Yeah. I'm still alive. They keep going it's okay. not about the that. Really it's, about, it's about the rules and regulations, the standards that European Union and British... That, I mean, England has. America doesn't have. Have you been to America? I have, yes. Have you seen so many fat people or thin people? Quite a lot of fat people. Thank you very much. So, when there is no rules and regulations, any Tom and Dick and Harry can come and sell you whatever they want. Yes, that's how it should be. No, the market so, for, for your own greed, you will sell a poison to somebody else. They're going to bring up 10 to prison TS. Nobody will buy shit ever again. That guy is supposed to sell poison. Trolling stuff. Well, I'm half Italian. So, right? no, the problem is, uh, for me, it doesn't cousins, matter. I'm a survivor. I, I've asked my I will cousins, survive. Uh, I've asked my guy, are going to be alright? <laughs> I will Listen, survive. Right. I've survived war. I've survived so many countries. Name talk, Mo. Listen. Oh, sorry. I'm half Italian. <laughs> okay. When it's Italiano, pizza, pasta. Come on, man. Okay, sorry. When I've been in Italy, I've obviously got a lot of cousins in Italy. Of course. And I've said to them, what do you think of Europe? And they've obviously spoke to me about mm. Brexit, etc., etc. Mm. And I've said, if you had a vote, what do you reckon your country would do? And they said, well, we don't really know, but generally the younger people would like to leave and the older people would like to stay, just as a generalisation, which is mm. roughly the opposite of here. Mm. And I said, what do you think's wrong with Europe? And they said, well, ever since the Euro was introduced, yeah. it's been a bit of a disaster for our economy like it has for Greece, Greece Spain, Spain, Portugal, blah, blah, blah. And I said, what, why is Greece. that then? And they said, well, because when that euro was introduced, a load of other rules and regulations come in to force, which meant that our own government can't manipulate our economy through interest rate and this and that to do what's best for our own country. We're tied to them. So that's one of the main problems of Europe. You can't, so it's greed then? If I'm okay no, no, to hell with you. No, 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 so, no but if... What's your, what no, are you talking about? No, you said, because if the Italians can decide for themselves and what is best for them... Yeah, which is right. for their own economy. Yeah, for them. Yeah. So it's, 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 if they're okay to hell with England, if they're poor or, or, or something goes wrong with it, or there will be the... Uh, if That's my point. If we so, are the fifth largest economy, and we are in Europe, and, we and if we can help, economy. if we are much rich, it's always about humanity for me. Okay. If, something is if somebody is better off, help the one who is not better off to build them up as, as well. No, so it's, it's, it's all about nationalism then, it's all about me, me, me. If I'm better, if I'm better off, I don't care about if anybody else is doing good or not. The argument against Brexit is about the uh, pound being devalued. Mm. Yeah, 20%. So that's economic, so that's economic, great. That's you're you're thinking about your own, your own personal gain, you know, the strength of the pound, so no, you but, can go but, and buy yourself you know, more food or more, more players who are quite well dressed. No, you're, to you're totally wrong anyway, going on about, oh, it's all me, me, me. Surely a country wants to look after its own citizens and, you know, try and yeah. help so, them, etc. Et so I'll, I'll put about about another question. Me, is me. individuality... Is good or collectiveness? Let me take to be a the, collective the, an or individual who just thinks for himself, or be a collective nation. I mean, that we had European Union. I think that's why we don't have no more wars between the European yes, yes, what about countries. Bosnia? What about the Balkans? When was that? Was that Bosnia was not in the European honest, Union? No, no. But we're talking about the European Union. Everyone always bangs on that we've had continuous peace on the continent of Europe. It's just not true. No, but Bosnia wasn't the a EU member of... The supported the Ukraine. Okay, give me one member of EU who went and invaded another European country. But well, why didn't we stop it? Why didn't we stop it as the European Union? Sorry, say it again. Why didn't, didn't we stop the Balkans and what was going on? No, we did. The uh, we did. did. We made it worse. They, 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 I mean, the cause of our war was increased by that. Serbia fucking hates the European Union because they've been bombed to shit. We meddled in. No, we whoever meddled gets in Syria. bombed, we meddled in Syria. They the hate. We meddled in Afghanistan. We meddled in Iraq as a European Union. Um, we meddled with the Ukraine uh, and Russian you know, annexation. No, England Russia went with done. America to, to Afghanistan and Iraq. Yeah. What about France? They were involved in Syria, weren't they? Yeah. And Libya. Yeah. So it's not, it's you not this, you know, it's not no, I'm talking about the Europe, about. the European Union country, which yeah. are members with each yeah. other. And they won't benefit so as long for as we themselves. Don't wage war against each other, no, it's not we that point. No, 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 you're, you're, no, 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 no. You're yeah, taking the argument somewhere else. It's not about that. Yeah. It's not about that. 
it's not about that. Let me I'm, back. I'm, I'm saying that, that, you made I'm saying that coherence and the peaceful treaties that have been made in European the countries the themselves. Let's not talk about the foreign wars which, which we went. I think it's wrong. Saying, Myself, because I am from a land to that nothing to do with September 11 and got that hell bombed out of flipping my people. No Afghans were involved in that plane, it was all Saudis, and we got the bombs. I get you, bro. But my point is, the collectiveness that the European Union, which wants to... For me, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's not about taxation. It's not about the European Union. No, let's forget about that. Let's forget about let's 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 let's, let's, let's focus on the present day. Oh no, yeah. Well, which we wanted to leave. What was broken? Oh no, yeah. No. The government is perfect. Unless you have a religious government. No, I'm not saying European Union was, was perfect. I'm not saying that. said, oh no, you can't just, you can't, you can't not help them. just see thousands of people out of work. Then to benefit so others. They all come to a point. So we can't compete. Of course he's recording. He's always right, there recording. Are ways That's how he, it's who he is. It's his job. I don't know. Basically. I'm not saying everything is perfect yeah, but, in European Union. Yeah, I don't think it's like a left or right issue. I don't consider it a, uh, an immigrant or non-immigrant issue. It's pretty no, bipartisan. It no, it's pretty listen, bipartisan. Listen. Not every, not every Brexiter is a racist, but every racist is a Brexiter. Not every Brexiter is a, is a socialist, but every socialist is a fucking Brexiter. Have you noticed that? Yeah, well, in socialism is different. It's not compact like the conservatives and the reactionary. Socialism is a, a more a radical, less radical. So the more radical, uh, they are not for Brexit, I know for sure, because I'm with politics. Those uh, who believe uh, in the welfare of the working class, uh, they fight uh, for the right uh, of the working class uh, to a decent existence, to social services, especially education. My grandson is only 14 year old, still he doesn't have a perspective on history. This is what I want to say, yeah, this is very important. My grandson has not been taught a perspective on history. And you know why? Because the, uh, uh, it used to be taught history as evolutionary process. This has stopped. The reason it has stopped is because they go more, excuse me, we move a little bit because of these people. We have, um, is, um, sorry, sorry. So I understand the point, many not the most radical or against the European Union, blah, blah, blah. But it's keeping the point. So my point is, lots of socialists support leaving the European Union. Like Jeremy Corbyn was a Brexiteer up until 2015. That's basically when you have to say, all right, most of my party's pro-Remain. I'm going to concede my point. Look at all of his interviews from 1980 all the way from 2010. You'll see a consistent policy. Well, you're a skeptic. I'll tell you one thing. If you, if you, could, you know why. Because mm -hmm. European rules prevent us from nationalizing our industries. We can't nationalize coal. We can subsidize it, but we can't nationalize it. Yeah. Same with steel, same with other industries as well. It's all about mm -hmm. regulating competition, you know, chopping off everyone's legs. So whoever is in politics, regardless of how left-wing he is, mm -hmm. is in fact a social democrat. Mm -hmm. He's not really a leftist or a socialist. Social democrats are 
for small reformisms, especially reforms for the welfare of the working class. But uh, socialism is different, it's not reformism. A socialist doesn't want reformism because it quenches the dynamic activity of uh, strikes, uh, industrial uh, or, uh, action, and it wants a global revolution. A social democrat is never for the revolution, is for uh, entering the system on the side of the centers of wealth, wealth and power, who the more power they lose, the more they introduce reforms to stay in power. So you you know, that's why Karl Marx said, so we you, cannot you, make you, a history of ideology. Ideology intended as the creed of the rulers, yeah, yeah. you see. Would you define Venezuela as socialist or social democracy? It's social democracy. Okay. Maduro is a social democracy. So, no, I'm democracy. just saying, so we should, should we go through a list of all the industries there? So it's farming that are nationalized, uh, test of their equivalent of Tesco is nationalized, fucking uh, supermarket stores are nationalized, oil is nationalized, railroads I assume are nationalized, you are broadband nationalized. Like what's, what, what's the line where they say, oh, it's completely so, socialist? What's the line? Where, where do you start? Well, the line to define a country completely socialist is when the working class self-managed factories, manufacturing, banks, everything is in the hand of the majority. When you have a system that only uh, certain sectors are under control of the majority, that is social democracy. Reformism is social democracy. You know, the, a real socialist is always opting for self-management of the economy by the majority. You see, and uh, now there are the elections, and the uh, social democrats in a very conservative country like Northern Europe, they are all conservative government, including Sweden, in spite of all this, uh, this social welfare, is still very conservative. You cannot enter into politics if you are a radical leftist. You cannot. They will kick you out. They even punch black and blue Corbyn since so he became the leader. So the difference between socialism and social democracy is, well, because again, we've got nationalization of all the resources, basically. The means of production are nationalized. Yeah. Uh, it's a very a tiny degree. You're talking about getting everybody involved, so a democratic control. Yeah, but look at the, the example of Soviet Union. Yeah. They had the revolution, yeah. and uh, they definitely put a big chunk, probably eight out of ten manufacturing, in yeah. the hands of the working class. Mm -hmm. They had Soviets. Yeah. Soviets were managers mm -hmm. who would get exactly the same salary of manual workers, you know, the Soviets. Still, they had a very hard time to go any further into giving the power to the masses. And why? Because of nationalization. When you put everything nationalized, you create, sorry, let me finish, you create a very powerful state uh, bureaucracy. That's what's happened. And they preterate the revolution. After Stalin, what did they come into power, mm -hmm. a very major reformist, yeah, yeah. that was Khrushchev. Yeah, I understand. So you can only but talk about your, socialism. What's your, what's your alternative? Is it like a cooperative? Every single industry is a cooperative? And the uh, state is some sort of more well, You, know, you cannot else. have socialism, first of all, except internationally. You cannot have socialism in one country because there will be counter-revolutionary forces. You know, you, Soviet Union was invaded four times by the United States after the revolution. There were 124 foreign countries that invaded Soviet Union because they said if that model is successful, we cannot have a world the all the system will perish.
I'm just thinking of when uh, they had an issue with matches. If for some reason, back in the 50s and 60s, the Soviet Union wanted to outproduce Sweden in matches. So, with this top down socialist system, they said, ah, fuck food, fuck new housing, let's build matches. So they started producing all these cheap, cheap, cheap matches to try and push Sweden out of the market. Is that what you're talking about? So you, you want a system where, oh, instead of having to compete with Sweden, we just take them over, which means we lose out no, as no. a consumer. And socialism is not taking matches. over. First of all, socialism is either international or mm. non-existent. Mm. But in order of having socialism international, yeah. you have to finance the revolution. All the revolutions. Now there is a lot of revolutions going on yeah. in Latin America. Uh -huh. I just came back from Paris. In Paris, they had so many groups from Guatemala, from uh, Chile, uh, from uh, Ecuador, different groups demonstrating yeah. that, uh, below the uh, Tower Eiffel. And uh, why? Why there is all this resurgence of revolutionary upheavals in Latin America? Because Latin America is a place that is always into coup from the United States, and the people are rebelling against yeah, coup. That, I mean, that's easily going to Coup is just a matter of purging the fucking classes and doing this and doing that. I'm talking about yeah, but with coup, what took they the had so 20 years of fascism in Chile. So, took down, what took down the Soviet Union was massive debt. East Germany, for example, was full of debt. People didn't like the situation. They, as soon as they let the free media come in, people knew how bad it was. They saw how better it was in other countries. That's how the hell hell was broken down the whole system. When were the debts? When were East the debts? Tell me the date was, when I think, it became. Million. 1989. When? You know, the, you know the date as well as, as I do. Well, then it was not socialism. It was a strictly social democracy reformism. So you cannot talk about the, the fact they were indebted because they were socialists. They became indebted when they imitated the capitalist model. Yeah, but how That's they how they become indebted. You, you, you've got this sort of snail, chimera, sort of eating its own tail. They don't, they've took all the assets, nationalized it, depriving their own nation of the ability to sort of build yeah, and I just and told become you efficient. Why. So where are they going to get this money from? They go to the West. This is what happened. East Germany went to the West. They took tons of debt. That's what happened. They were basically going to default in 1989. Yeah. West Germany said, what, don't fuck That bother. is what's happened when you have other countries giving state money. State so, bureaucracy. But there's that's, no state bureaucracy. Yeah, that's, after Stalin, it became strictly state bureaucracy. And that's when they went you, downhill. You, you can't divorce socialism from the bureaucracy. No, I mean, no, look, no. When you have no price, no, no profit, no nothing like that, no. what's the incentive? What's the, the, the profit state incentive bureaucracy to doesn't something? need to exist. All right, hold on. So Doesn't example, need to exist. No, but there needs to be a, an incentive. You have to give someone an incentive to improve something. That's it. There so what's is the incentive a, for? Like China never had a state bureaucracy. They had the Communist Party and, and the planning economy. 100 million people. Yeah, where are the mass grave of 100 million people that died? We have enough laser beams to see mass graves from the sky. Not one mass grave. Where do you bury 100 what million happens, people? What Where do you bury 100 million people? Where? You don't bury In mass graves. If you've got 100 Thank million you. people, what are you going to do? The same Sorry? with the plates. You're going to put them in a giant mound, just like a rock. Big holes. That's how you do it. Don't be like silly. That. You don't you dispose holes, you of you. human corpses by putting them to rot on a mountain, don't be silly. You don't them in a mountain, but you know what I'm talking about. If you so don't find the, about the mass grave, it means nobody has been killed. That is simple as that. Sort of it doesn't mean any it sort doesn't of thing. It doesn't mean a thing. What you're talking sort of about thing. is pure, a hundred million is pure that's that's fascist that's propaganda. The that's what you're half talking the, about. It's just half the hundred million to fifty million. All right. That's, you still would have... Still, there's still almost the, 10 times You as still much as would have thousands of mass graves everywhere in China. That's 10 times same more in than Russia. Died in the Holocaust. 50 million, almost 10 times more than died in the Holocaust.
That's a huge That is That's a huge The propaganda and again, this that you have been said by the Cold War hysteria. No, it's Cold, Cold War hysteria it's a, a has fact. brainwashed it's you into it's that. Yeah, find the masquerade, Dan, you idiot. Go and find the masquerade. You want me to go there to China now and find a masquerade? No. The find the masquerade, masquerade I you find can them. be found with the modern technology and have not been found one, not That's a one. That's a That's so you are a That's blatant liar. That's a lie. That suffers anti-communist hysteria and Cold War hysteria. That's what you are. So you're telling me they just Thank you very like, oh. much. All right, sure. I'll end it there. But there's more deaths by communists. Are you British? I can, yes, of are course. you British? Yeah. Well, you have to know that British, yeah. the, any uh, oh, okay. Anglo yeah. countries, Australia, Canada, uh, United States, uh, England, uh, they are all right of politics and they the see Australia reality with blinkers. All Anglo countries are racist and uh, all of them right of politics. Their view of reality is Cold War hysteria, anti-communist hysteria, and he's a representative. Okay, so a country that's twice the but size I of Germany. I'm, I'm very I'm underestimating when I say that twice the size has of Germany. The guts you're going to be able to find to those. The, the you're going to be able to find those mass graves anyway. You just go, oh, look. like it's not. It's, you're we not have talking laser about the teams. Laser we beams. have. Uh, a way to find out well, what, dead bodies. Not the size of what do the, the there dead body release? Of, of China that you will never be able do to Do you know. know what a dead body is releasing? What is releasing? They release gas, they use all this other bullshit. Phosphorus. Right, go ahead. Phosphorus. That is the easiest gas to be found out, even if they bury them under 30 meters of soil. That it, it would be found because they release a lot of gas that is phosphorus. You can even see phosphorus in the night. I went to uh, cemeteries because Italy is a hot country, and I went in there because I was always intrigued by the cemeteries, and I, I found, you know, I, I always wanted to find out. In summer, when there is a hot summer, especially around 28, 30 degrees. You go in the night in the cemetery, you see like a flame on top of the graves. Even graves that have a slab of marble, you see the flame coming on the side. And that is the phosphorus of the dead body yeah. that is decomposing. I'm saying they so haven't looked at it. it is I don't know where they look. Easy. I don't know the story you're talking about. It is quite it could easy. Be just light. It could just be constant lies. I don't know. But I reckon they just looked in the play. Oh, they, someone said they were. But science is not lies. Science. I'm not, I'm not telling, I'm not science is not a, a lie. Country. Science is logic how many and reason. In that fucking country. Like it's a huge country. So you're talking about a situation which affected the countryside, so it's going to be in the most least densely populated areas. So I'm sure they picked a place and said, oh, there's no phosphorus here, therefore the entirety of China. How do you transport no all these dead bodies to the ideal place? I don't know do you know you what's happening in Italy? I don't know. I tell I, you what's happening in Italy. Do, I don't do logistics. It's not my job. It's not my job to figure out where the dead bodies go. Yeah, but you believe the shit that television sorry, feeds you. The demographic you believe that situation. shit. You should be ashamed right, of yourself. Just, okay, cool. Let's just let's forget. Let's maybe forget. Right, you believe saying, all this shit BBC no, but it, tells but it's, a, but it's been a big part How can I believe BBC? Film. Listen. It's been a big part of communist Stop a film. second. When communists Stop go a out second. and they say, oh, we want to start a revolution, yeah. they count, they say, how Stop many people are going to have to kill? The BBC, how many, how many times uh, they showed the yellow vest, uh, which is an anti-capitalist revolution in France? How many times? What? Three times! Anti-capitalist revolution. Hong Kong protest every single day. Every single day. And uh, how can you trust a broadcasting that is so biased? They only saw what they want uh, that is uh, ideal into making people believe what they want people to believe. That's why I am opposing that kind of mentality. You have no possibility of uh, making any kind of sense when you are so biased. 
You are biased because it doesn't matter. You live in a culture. I don't live in any culture. The culture, as as I, the as as English I don't culture. Care, I don't care what the French are rebelling about because they rebel every single fucking day. It's literally every single day, 24 fucking seven. It's always some bullshit. Because the they are advanced. Are they you go advanced? to Paris, the you advanced? see a city that is advanced. Here is a city that has a stupid uh, concert, concert. some rubbish that is yeah, inexpensive to go. Because the people, when they're stupid, they buy 30 pounds, 40 pounds ticket to go and see junk. They go and see junk I'm I'm not because gonna, I'm not defend they the are brainwashed into buy, buy, buy and being slave, being slave, being slave. Anyway, I am quite amazed that you have the guts to defend the indefendable. The and I, I'm indefendable. quite am I, I'm not amazed. What well, you are defending, defending a system that treats people that cows, well, you, the, well, cows to, to milk. you're trying to change the status quo. And be well, you're to trying be to change the status quo. Honey. That's well, what you, you should are be defending. defending your point. Why am I? You, there were people who have consistently said, right, we're communists. We need to get a revolution done. Let's you, count how many people we're going to kill. So we start with the kulaks, we end with the proletariat. What do we do? We when we start with discussion, people. when we started yeah. with discussion, we were talking about the I'm European afraid, uh, sorry to say, yeah. you didn't even know what socialism is. You no, think so at socialism and social I've democracy? I've heard so many definitions. Is, uh, I've, the, heard the same the, thing. I've heard certain forms of socialism as they really should be, because the, the state, you know, the means of production are actually you know, communalized and they're seized by the government. I mean, they're they're, not, they're, by all means, they're communist. They're not the the seized states. by the government. They, they seized, are part. I just gave you an example of East Germany, fucking Venezuela. They anyone are part with two brain, the, of uh, the but community. But they're often called state capitalists, which gives so, the implication that they're somehow as, given the Answer me this policy. question. Why, but, why so-called socialism, which was a state bureaucracy, but call it socialism, yeah, well. lasted 72 years when the fascism in Italy lasted 21 years worse, and worse, Nazism worse, really? lasted 11 years? That's, why? I don't, why am I defending Nazism? Well, well not, you're not I'm, defending. I'm, I'm not just defending saying. They're, they're socialists as well. So socialist, Nazis are socialists. National socialists. You know what well. Hitler said? I, Let me tell you what Hitler said. Well, I am a, a revolutionary, a revolutionary. Well, I want a revolution against the revolutionaries. Can you imagine okay. more? I wonder. More, I wonder what's his first party? What's the first party he joined? Was it the Communist Party? I wonder. Yeah, I think it was. The, he, he, when he got into politics, he was a spy for the Communist Party. He was in the Communist Party. That's where he got his roots from. That's where he developed his ideology. Well, well, when did he join? Now, when did he join the Communist Party? When? Yeah, what year? 1919. It's pretty clear he did. So, how old was he? Oh, well, no, he was born in 1989. Not 1989. Let's just say 1989, but not 1889. It would have been around 2025. Yeah, young people are like that. Yeah. They are politically uh, uh, attracted by any politics that uh, makes was, news. Was, okay, so let's look at his um, opposition in the Reichstag. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Fat von Patten. Was he, as a young child, was he a socialist? He was Who? A free market. Von Patten. Von Patten, was he a socialist? No, not really. As a young child, would you just go back into his past? Was he a socialist? No, yeah, not, really, the, not the least. The, the, apart the fact that uh, I believe uh, Hitler was uh, very uh, much of a delusional individual. Of course. Because uh, his priority is, is like that uh, guy, uh, what's the name of that guy? Uh, the Ukrainian, the, the Ukrainian guy. guy. Everywhere there is a camera, he rushes in. He does. He he's should be here. Show he should be here. He should be here. Where he is, should. This is his debate. He's, he's the guy. We can't hold any debate the because you know I mean? he's a liar. He he's tells a liar. lies. He's not a liar. He just... Well, he told me, oh, there are no uh, Nazi flag flying in Ukraine. I've seen them with my own eyes. He's not been in Ukraine since the last 10 years, so how could he know? 
it's, it's telling all kinds of lies. Yeah, there's so many lies about Ukraine. No, I heard I'm one just... guy here say that there was about a thousand people killed in a fire in Odessa. It was absolute bullshit. Yeah, the but the, the Russian media all the right are, are proliferating agenda. a ton of lies about Russia. So to be honest with you, I don't believe it. And what, about, comes out of what it. about the lies of US and England? Those are lies that affect us because we live here. We live in Ukraine, this system. Ukraine's a long way from Britain. I don't really care what happens. Well, if you don't care, why then you talk politics? I'm talking politics <coughs> about this country. I'm yeah, an and what do you say? You repeat what the general common uh, sensibilities mm -hmm. of the British are about. You are talking uh, strictly a certain uh, mantra or a certain belief that has been passed to you. Were you there to see that 100 people were killed? Were you there when Stalin was did in you, power? Did you, have you seen the pyramids? You only believe... Have you seen the pyramids? I'm not, I'm you, not the pyramids well, well, they're not there then. I haven't seen them either. I haven't seen them either. entity that you model. can see. I know, but this Dead is... Dead bodies, no, hold on, hold on, you can hold on, hold on. find out uh, with the modern this technology. You can find out if, if you're going to go with a fallacy, I can come. Have you seen any proof that communism really has, has worked? Have you seen it ha how work anywhere? Yeah, it's definitely so. worked in China, lifting 700 million wow. people out of don't, poverty. Don't bring China this is going to be this, very hard for you to the freest market in the world is this, Hong Kong, which is in China. No, Hong Kong is China. So yes, what are you talking China. about? It's, a, it's a, it's the, one of the freest markets in the world. So China allows so, free so, market hold on, hold on, hold on. So, and lives and thrive on free market. China gave us two billion, 200 billion people just to use our ports. 200 billion, okay. 200 billion uh, dollars okay. actually to use our ports. Yeah. Our ports are vital to send all the merchandise yep. from our ports into the rest of Europe. You talk about five millions consumers, 500 millions consumers. United States, which is an economic power, has only 250 million consumers. So, obviously, they have fair deals. They could just come and give us some pittance and still using our ports. No, they made a fair deal and they, we gave them seniorage for the ne next 10 years. Seniorage means for the next 10 years, they can put as many cargo boats as they want. If you go to Trieste, Genova, Naples, which are the yeah. biggest ports in Italy, you see cranes, huge cranes that go into the trains, yeah. and the train takes them all over Europe with very little cost, because if you transport by trucks, it's extremely expensive. But if you transport by train, it's, it's not much of a cost. The trains. They can even go on diesel. Some cargo trains go, go you know, they, they, they go on electricity. Yeah, well, yeah, no, anyway, these you know. cranes, I've seen them with my eyes. They have written all over the cranes, China, on capital letters, taller than your height, yeah. China. And yet, with so many fascists, because Italy is still full of fascists, yeah. nobody would dare to mess up or undermine or put a bomb because they finally understand that China is a friendly power and US is not. Well, I because don't know. I don't US. Know. They, they, they fuck around with a lot of shit when it comes to uh, trademark or copyright, they just simply ignore the law. There's a lot of instances of well, just they, taking resources. And, I mean, the Americans the do the same. They are abusing this when it comes to uh, their own Bill industry. Bill Gates did the They'll same. They have an industry like he Hawaii. He stole Huawei. Microsoft Huawei. and made it his uh, own. No, look, no, no, look, and that's how he became Huawei, rich. Look at Any uh, big uh, Chinese corporation, right? The government is their principal stakeholder. The government will just send them as much cash as needed, as needs to be. So Hawaii is exactly. Am I saying it right? Hawaii. Huawei. 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 Um, they're, I mean, the Chinese government is just pummeling the country. 
So what do they do? They go and buy up certain parts of British infrastructure, American infrastructure. What all this stuff? They don't steal it. They buy it. Bill Gates stole it. So they're using the market against us. They're not playing by market rules in their own country. So it's our fault. Power is in relation to weakness. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? If we are so stupid that we allow them. Now we say fuck it. Ban Huawei because they're basically the Chinese government. Well, is banned only in the US. In Europe, there is Huawei. Well, it should be banned here. Yeah, why they don't? Why they don't ban it? No, it's not the reason. It's big capital. The world is owned by eight individuals that own more wealth than half of the world population, which is more than 350 billion. Wolf charts. If you're gonna say the wolf charts, oh no, she didn't. No, I'm talking about. Usually, when they say, "Oh, the world is owned by a certain group of people," it's owned by Carnegie, Morgan. Dupont, Carnegie. those are the multi-trillionaires. So, I'm Carnegie. giving you the name. I don't understand. Like, Rockefeller. Ro Rockefeller. It okay. used to be Getty, not anymore. Yeah. Getty is, is British, so British don't make much of this kind of immoral fortunes. And they are multi-trillionaires in a world of starving multitudes. So, what know. kind of? I was wait, I was, do you I was know what morality is? I thought you were going to say Rockefeller, or Goldsmith, or some Jewish name. And I'd well, be like, well, she's an anti-Semite. Right. No, no, I'm not an anti-Semite. To me, Obviously. everybody has as a right to his own, own opinion, to and, people, and everybody to has a right uh, to express uh, his point of view uh -huh. and have his own opinion. Okay, cool. So, ask. I believe we, all of us, should share this. Uh, world in a friendly manner and help each other as much as we can you know i i am i'm not against you because you are biased but uh, i i think uh, you have the you are entitled to your own opinion you know you hear certain news make your own opinion you, i mean you all but said there's no such thing as socialism ever existing which is, I've heard this debate before, like, you know, people say this all the time, they say, oh, no, no, no. it wasn't real communism I never because said of X, socialism real never communism existed. would have Y, I mean. I said the closest uh, example of socialism was in Russia when Lenin and Stalin came into power. That was the closest to socialism. And uh, it was working. My town, Venice, is full of Russians. They told me that they are parents or grandparents all said it was far better. Prices kept on going down, everybody had a house where to live, everybody had a very good education, women had two years leave for maternity which never existed in any other capitalist countries and uh, the population was much healthier, the lifespan much longer and they have very low infant mortality, and that is the closest the when the world came to That's actually socialism. pretty low for socialism. When they, when they first had it, wasn't it, when they were trying to just strict control over the countryside, after, immediately after the uh, October Revolution, I think 23,000 peasants died? That was yeah. just the beginning, right? That was just the, the evil, right? You had, after then, successive yeah, massive now you killings. Are again. With the dead. No, but I'm, I'm being honest. With the dead, I'm, it's, I'm it's with like, the it's common mass grave. Okay, so the, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Her claim, her claim is they're not just lying about the original deaths in the Russian Revolution. They're not just lying about the death of the Kulaks in Ukraine, the Holodomor that happened there. You know, they're also lying about the deaths in China, Cambodia, by the Khmer Rouge. They're lying about all that stuff. So all these people so have people come like together. You, They've come to describe people numbers. Like you, people from Cambodia, Russia, Germany, Ukraine, uh, any every part of the world. People They've come like together. you They've come together should get said, a journey and a trip or a journey yeah. to Birkenau, which is an extermination okay. camp, right. two miles away from Auschwitz. And uh, once you are in Birkenau, you will finally understand what the world without communism will be. Communist forces are the only forces that fight all that horror. The horror so the, so the of entire, Nazi So France was camp. like, uh, we're not doing anything, we give up. 
Britain gave up in the first five minutes. Just, you know, all these countries didn't come together and they didn't fight. They, I mean, you've got to remember, that's a very egotistic point of view. When you just say, oh, the Russians, they basically defeated Germany. What happened to the air war, the naval war, the Arctic convoys, the fact that there were millions of people from Africa and East Asia who fought and joined the they British, were the first who volunteered they to were, fight the Nazis. The Russians were the first to enter no, into Berlin and well, yeah, free, well, whatever. And won free by the population. It's like a first past the post system. Like you, yeah, you got to the Berlin other, first. The others you got came to two weeks first. afterward. You got to Berlin first. You but came who leveled Berlin two in weeks successive afterward. Raids. In 1945, gigantic fucking raid by the Allies. Why do you use the word fucking? Why do you use the word fucking? I'm aware, I'm a swearer. I'm a swearer. I'm Sorry. I'm aware. Uh, I'm not huge swearing attack, and you should not swear. Hello. Very attack. nice to see you. Yeah, I'm glad I'm, that you oh, came back. You know, I felt very bad when uh, you were uh, banned for six months. It was really heartbreaking for me because there is there is very there are very few people that understand how the world runs and what is happening and they do their uttermost to provoke you and they put a piece of garbage like, uh, uh, what was the name of it? Yes, uh, well, Steve also, yes. And they put these pieces of garbage in the park that those should be banned, not you. You are very informed because I'm sure you suffered in life, like I have suffered, you know. And because we have suffered, we are very clear-minded about what is happening in, in society and why we are used as cows to be milked. Yeah, you know, so I was, it was really bad, you know. I said, yeah, I really love people <laughs> like you, that uh, it, it should not have happened, you know. You talk to a dog and you catch the fleas. That is the problem. I mean, it happens to anybody because when there are these uh, people that try to insult you, actually what they want is to you to hook to their misery. You know, it is, uh, you reward them. When you insult them back, you reward them. It's exactly what they want. Do you want to sit here? We have a discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you should, you should. You can sit if you want. You use the chairs. Uh, we had a very nice meeting one day. Uh, there was Steve also in the meeting, but it's okay. Uh, and uh, we're sitting there, you know, lots of likes because it was, uh, and there was also the piece of garbage of the, the blonde predictable. All what he talks is knocking down open doors. All what he talks about, everybody knows. Imagine, for example, the discourse on pornography. Yep, 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 yep. Things that everybody knows, why they shouldn't listen to this conceited, arrogant and uh, fascist instead of you. He wouldn't even let him speak. He is sensible because, like me, has suffered in life. He also has suffered in life, you know? I was going to say, women's bodies, um, unfortunately, uh, it's difficult because men don't understand and they don't want to understand the fact that they claim women's bodies as property. They don't, they don't want to understand. So the idea of women's freedom and sexual autonomy is something that's mm -hmm. alien to them because they, to them, women's bodies is where they wage their wars, how they claim their nationalities, how they become heroes. And yes. Unfortunately, this is, this is just how it is. Yeah, but is, uh, unfortunately, you have to also understand that the world is ruled by men. The eight guys that are trillionaire, actually one is zillionaire, and uh, is... Uh, Virtually, uh, those that decide for the rest of the men, they create the mentality in the men because yeah. money is power and they, they decide what the men should think about women. Yeah.
Yeah. And what these guys want, the eight guys, the richest, actually there are 225 richest people in the world, all males, no women, all males, all male sex. M uh, what's happened, when you want to control the world, they know exactly that you must control the reproductive That's system it. of Absolutely. women. Because women are the ones that produce new stock. Next generation. They produce new stock of slaves. The same they did in any slave society, including Roman times. They were using certain women for new stock to guarantee that the supply of slaves would be maintained always at the same level and eventually increased. And that mentality that uh, controlling the reproductive system of women came about from slavery, Roman time, Greeks, Egyptian, that mentality has never been broken because people do not understand that you only control humanity, the whole of humanity, by controlling women should not abort, women should not uh, uh, mix, uh, mix uh, race, because mixed race supposedly... It's, it's like a buffer uh, class for two yeah, races. Yeah, the mixed race supposedly, uh, for example, red hair. Red hair is mixed race. Yeah. Blonde and brown give ch has children, you know, my family have all red hair. <laughs> because we were mixed from uh, the time of Romans, because I come back from aristocracy from Roman time, we were always invaded by the Germanic light blonde, mixed with brown people, and the result is red hair. And they believe, since uh, Roman time, that people with red hair are very nasty. They, they, of, yeah, they believed, Satan, in, Satan you know, they used to burn red hair people yeah. alive, because they thought they are devils or they have leprosy, you know, they used to say all kinds of things. And still now a lot of people believe that you, if you are a mixed race, you are a bad person and you have evil in, inside you. So this is the world we live in. We live in the dark ages. Yeah. We yeah. are worse than the witch. Uh, when they used to burn uh, witches alive. We are, we are, yeah. That didn't change that much, yeah. Yeah. you know? No. And, uh, but uh, if I sit there so I can do make... Uh, do you mind if I very quickly just do the um, video for uh, yeah, Steve? And yeah. then, um, yeah, then we, we have a question. Like, like oh, this is from the global From the global Man say it straight, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV, listen, man don't listen to BBC, man don't listen to ITV, there's no red flash to kind of indicate, but so I guess we'll start off this video by addressing some of the problems and the assertions that were made last week, unfortunately we seem to be heading to a period with the speakers corner in which slander and Complete defamation seems to be the only way in which someone can have any validity in an argument. This has turned from somewhere that you go back home, research and facts on the internet, which we are all very privileged in. Generous.